Wisman, Director of Product Development at Bramo, and this is the Impulse High Performance Electric Motorcycle. Uh, you'll notice that it's got a lot of detail exposed. This is the cutaway bike that we put together for the CES show in Las Vegas this year. Um, I'll be using it to give you a, a close look at some of the engineering and uh, ingenuity and design that's gone into to putting this product on the market. We should start by talking about one of the primary building blocks of any electric vehicle, which is the battery cell. We use a 10 amp hour lithium ion pouch cell. This is very similar technology to what you'll find in most modern consumer electronics. You can see the cell uh, stacked up perpendicular to the frame in each of these battery modules. So there's uh, groups of nine cells and then four across in each module, meaning that we've got 36 cells per module and then seven modules in the bike, so a total of 252 cells in the entire bike. We've got 9.3 kilowatt hours of battery capacity on the bike. Any lithium ion battery is also going to require good control electronics. So if we take a look at the top of each of these battery modules, uh, you'll see a PC board. Um, these PC boards communicate with each other and then back up to a master battery controller uh, that can make system level decisions based on some of the, the information that it's receiving from the battery itself. It controls the charging for the batteries too. The Impulse comes standard with a three kilowatt onboard charger, the same size charger you're gonna find on a Nissan Leaf or a Chevy Volt. Um, it's the uh, largest charger you'll find on any electric motorcycle anywhere. And this allows you to use the public charging infrastructure that's already been deployed. So. Uh, at the moment, there's about 7,000 public charging stations in the U.S., and uh, the Impulse is compatible with, with all of them. Um, now we've got to get this power that resides in this battery out to the motor and, of course, out to the rear wheel. Um, in order to do that, the DC power supply in the battery needs to be converted to an AC power source for electric motor, and that's done through the motor controller, uh, which sits down here. Um, so all the high voltage and high switching frequency is as far away from the rider as possible that can deliver over 650 amps peak out to the electric motor. As I mentioned, the, the electric motor is, a, is an AC motor, a three-phase motor. Um, it's an internal permanent magnet motor. Uh, it's got, you can see how small diameter is, so it's a very compact motor, but it also produces a ton of torque. So uh, this motor produces over 90 newton meters of torque, that's over 60 foot pounds, um, and weighs about uh, 35 pounds. So a lot of power density in a very small space. Now coupled to this dense uh, power source is our integrated six-speed transmission. So. Uh, the benefit of the transmission is that you don't have to make a gearing compromise. If we were going direct drive, we'd have to make a trade-off between whether we want the best acceleration or the best top speed. Here we get both. We get great off-the-line acceleration in first gear, and we get great top speed in fifth and sixth gear when you're on the, on the freeway. And you've got a ratio in between there for every different riding experience you're going to encounter, whether you've got a passenger on the bike, uh, you're climbing a hill, uh, the bike's heavily loaded for some reason, you've got a gear selection that's going to keep the motor in its sweet spot for efficiency and give you the power when you need it. So with the Impulse we use an extruded aluminum frame profile uh, that's custom to the bike. This frame profile serves of course as a structural element in the chassis but it's also the cradle for the battery so it allows the battery to sit down into the frame and also protects them in the event that the bike falls over. Uh, attached to the main chassis is our tubular subframe and our tubular rear suspension. Now like the way that these mechanical components connect everything on the bike, there's also the software integration and the, the systems integration work that's gone on to make sure that all of these systems that we've talked about work in concert with each other and that's really where I think a lot of the the secret sauce is and uh, what makes this bike special is that all of this technology for the most part is transparent to the customer when they're riding uh, they're able just to go out and enjoy the experience on the bike uh, with all of this going on underneath them 
um, and, and not realize how much sophistication is built into their bike. So I hope you've enjoyed this brief technical overview of the Impulse. Um, hope that provides a new appreciation for the amount of technology crammed into this bike. Um, it's really uh, something that we're very proud of at Bramo, but uh, if you really want to experience it for yourself, you should head out to a dealer and take a test ride.